Hi guys, in this video we are going to practice adding and subtracting mixed fractions together. If you want to pause the video and write the problems down, you can try them on your own. If you want to roll along and just do them with me, this is going to give you the extra practice you need so you feel confident moving forward on your own later on. So I'm going to start with the first one, 3 and 2 fifths plus 1 and 1 half. We're going to find our LCD for 2 and 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm going to stop at 10 because I know 10 is a multiple of 5. So 10 is my least common denominator. And I'm going to go ahead and just ignore the whole numbers for right now. We can take care of those at the end. This is the part you have to worry about first. So we know the denominator is gonna be 10. Five times two is 10. Two times two is four. Now down here, two times five is 10. One times five is five. Now I can take care of adding four tenths and five tenths just by putting these together and I get nine tenths. And last, I'm just gonna add three plus one. This is the easy part. And nine tenths cannot be simplified, so I'm done. Moving on to the next one, looking for my LCD of four and eight, multiples of four, four, eight, ding, 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 this is my winner. So I'm gonna change only this bottom fraction because I already have an eight there. I don't have to convert it to an equivalent fraction unless I absolutely have to. So four times two is eight, whatever do you do to the bottom, you have to do to the top. Now I have three eighths plus two eighths, which is five eighths, and four plus two is six. Five is a prime number, five eighths cannot be simplified, and I'm done. So these two didn't require any simplifying at the end, but a lot of them do. You just have to watch for it each time to see if you need to do that one last step. So this is the last addition one. I'm gonna look for my LCD of three and nine, three, six, nine. Nine is my LCD. I'm gonna leave him alone and just change this one. Three times three is nine, two times three is six. Now I'm gonna add the denominators only. Five and six are 11 ninths. Seven plus one is eight. Now I have an extra step because this one's improper. Remember when the big guy's on top, we're gonna go out for ice cream. Ice cream makes everything better. So put the ice cream in the freezer and shut the door. Nine will go into 11 one time. 11 minus nine is two. Remember your remainder comes up here and becomes your new numerator. Your denominator dominates. He always stays the same. Now the number one mistake I see kids do is they circle this and they say, I'm done. That's the answer, but you can't forget about this eight. You have to combine the eight plus the one, and your final answer is nine and two ninths. Now I'm gonna show you some subtraction ones. We are gonna get into some trickier subtraction ones that require borrowing, but these are just really straightforward. We're just gonna roll through with the same steps we've been practicing and get really comfortable with it. 
So I'm looking for the LCD between 5 and 10. Multiples of 5, 5, 10. Gonna stop there. I don't need to change 1 tenth, but 3 fifths we're gonna make into tenths. 5 times 2 is 10. 3 times 2 is 6. Now I'm subtracting 6 tenths minus 1 tenth is 5 tenths. 3 minus 1 is 2, but we're not done yet. 5 tenths can be simplified. 5 is half of 10. This is equal to 1 half. Some of you have been struggling with this. If you need to write this out this way, it's fine. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And your answer is 1 and a half. Really, after you do this for a while, you won't need to write this out here in the middle, but this is going to help you get there if you're getting stuck along the way. This one, I'm going to look for my LCD between 2 and 7. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I'm going to run out of room. 12, 14. I'm going to stop because that's the only one I'm going to have in common on this page and without running way down the road. So I'm going to change these both into a 14th. Seven times two is 14, so six times two is 12. Two times seven is 14. One times seven is seven. Now I'm going to subtract 12 minus seven, and I get five fourteenths. Five is a prime number and I can't divide 14 by 5 so I don't need to simplify this and 2 minus 1 is 1 and I'm done. Last one. This one we're looking for a least common denominator between 3 and 8. This one I'm going to go out for a bit. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, running out of room, 24, 8, 16, 24. 24 is going to be my least common denominator, so I'm going to have to multiply each fraction by the opposite denominator. So I'm going to turn these into 24ths. 8 times 3 is 24. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 8 is 24. 1 times 8 is 8. And now I'm just doing 21 minus 8. And I've got the 4 and the 3 over here. Um, just don't forget about this part here because um, it's really easy to do. Um, sometimes it's easier to just put your whole number first and then do this so you don't accidentally forget. Um, so just be really careful with that and uh, you'll just get used to it. So we have another one that doesn't need simplifying and I'm finished. I hope this helps and um, you guys are getting better with the practice.